Hey, this is Jim with another segment for NDI November. I am being joined today by Kelly from Key Code Media, talking about a recent project that they just had with WWTV in Michigan. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, great to be here. Kelly, can you take a moment, please introduce yourself and the work that Key Code Media does, specifically with the NDI stuff that we're going to be talking about today? Sure, sure. My name is Kelly Gottesman. I'm a senior project engineer out of the, our Detroit office. Key Code Media is an integration company. We we install all things audio, lighting, video, and everything in between. Um, large production houses, stadiums, uh, houses of worship, EDU, and, and all, all kinds of ancillary um, institutions for all things video production. So I'm out of the Detroit office. That's our central area combined with Chicago, and we have our headquarters in Burbank, California. We have an East Coast uh, present, presence as well, Texas, Denver, uh, upper uh, areas of the Northeast and Northwest. So we're kind of expanded and are creating a larger uh, landscape, if you will. And we've had experience to work with t Media through all of your different offices all throughout the country. Uh, t Media is a highly trained, certified uh, system integrator that's working in all of those different applications that Kelly mentioned, uh, government video production, schools, higher education, universities, K-12 schools, and even broadcast media outlets like WWTV that we're going to talk about today. Kelly, I saw a little bit of a case study about this project that you did with WWTV, and I reached out to the team and I said, this would be a great thing to talk about because of the NDI technology that really helped solve a solution in taking a broadcast TV studio to a control room 48 miles away. Can you tell us a little bit about WWTV? Sure, WWTV um, has been around for a number of years um, and their primary studio location was in Cadillac, Michigan. Um, and with budgetary cuts and, and uh, funding, uh, unfortunately they, they needed to downsize and they were selling their their large building in Cadillac and going to just have a smaller control room there and then move their studio to Traverse City, which is about 50 miles apart, which they wanted control 50 miles apart or away from the studio, which really lent itself quite directly to an NDI solution in Dante um, because of um video over IP, basically. And we've been doing that for a number of our installations since my hire uh, four, four years ago. So um, the solution to be able to control cameras, lighting, audio, comm um, from 50 miles away forced, forced us into this, you know, video over IP, audio over IP, which, you know, NDI has been doing for years and was the was a really great recipe for getting them where they needed to be. So we teamed up with, um, we've been using a lot of the Kiloview uh, encoders and decoders. In this image here, you can see that there's talent monitors on the, the MRMC uh, uh, pedestals there that are remotely controlled from Cadillac. Um, those all have encoders on them. The Sony cameras are uh, NDI um, ready. So everything's coming down a basically a it wasn't dark fiber just fiber pipe 500 up 500 back down okay. um between the two locations and uh you know we're we've been big fan of the neck gear av switches and those uh baked in profiles with a little special sauce from us um really made that uh, solution viable and pretty straightforward for their people to be able to control producers and directors uh, a one person control if you will from cadillac and what's interesting about that, too, is we talk a lot about NDI technology on the local area network, whether the production studio is one mile away or 48 miles away. In this case, it is a fully remote production workflow. Uh, the studio that we just saw pictures of is communicating back to the control room here in Cadillac where the production allows the perfect size production team to still have all the capabilities and everything that they need to do their broadcasts, correct? That is true. Um, we, we put in a, a Quick Link Studio Pro there, which um, you know works with a companion app and 
programmed so many different um, functionalities that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get from a traditional switcher for them to be able to work. Great. And I know when you did a remote production studio and control room working like this, that there's always some challenges that pop up along the way. What were oh, some yeah. of the challenges you ran into with WWTV? Well, one being if we didn't have dark fiber, we didn't have, you know, a dedicated pipe, if you will. So we had to deal with certain network traffic. Um, we never really got to Dante to quiet down. Um, there was jitter in the line. So we ended up using um, embedding our audio into our, our cameras and bringing that back to Cadillac so that they could rip the audio out and, you know, move it down the pipe uh, downstream. So that was that was one. But also working with their IT folks, um, which unfortunately uh, they had to kind of downsize as well. well so um, working with them to get them to understand the importance of how to carve up the landscape, the, the network topology, where we had, I think we have six different VLANs so that everything would work, you know, as it should. Um, they had to have an understanding of that so that when we did our knowledge transfer and we move on, that they can continue, you know, updating or keeping their signal flow doing what it needs to do. They they also have an, uh, a Ross Altrix in the mix that now does NDI. Finally, they got the Dante um, working with the NDI <laughs> out of there. So um, really, it's, it was, I would say, the challenge because it's such a network contingent design um, was in the trenches with just the network between the two locations and getting the ISP people involved as well too, uh, their providers. It's amazing how you have to get all hands on deck and get all parties involved just to figure out exactly what you're dealing with and then to specify the workflow and the solution to meet those challenges. I oh, know one sure. of the challenges you talked about was reducing the bandwidth so that the NDI streams would go to Traverse City uh, Studio successfully. And that's uh, shown on this workflow that we're talking, looking at here. Kelly, can you walk us through this? Sure. So we're, we're basically, um, instead of sending the signals back, um, because we really wanted to have high band NDI, but given the limitations of the, the fiber in between, we needed to put additional encoders at the Cadillac uh, location to bring the, the feeds off of the, the router um, to the, the Studio Pro switcher. So these here, um, these already three encoders provided us with that, with the, the necessary solution. So we could do HDMI or SDI off of those encoders to send it back down to a NDI HX um, stream. And I am a big fan of these KillerView products to give you that conversion capability and get everything that you need onto the network. It is a great, they, they have a whole family of products that fit oh, sure. into this AV over IP workflow. So getting the right product to get that workflow to work is a great thing to do with KillerView is a good resource for that. Yeah, um, and Gr Greg, and Greg ahead. from your house actually um, kind of was in our back pocket. He really okay. helped us a little bit with some of the designs, so it's nice to have. That, that absolutely is helpful. Um, and, you know, NDI November, when we talk to all of our system integrators, we talk about our team hosting the shows. We talk about the network of vendors that we have joining us, whether it's Quitlink, uh, VizRT, the team from NDI themselves, Killer Viewers, we talked about, or all the camera manufacturers. Uh, the goal of any good system integrator like Heatcard Media is to utilize all these different resources and bring them into your application to make sure everything is going to be up and running and working together. Yeah, it's uh, a true collaboration with all, it, with all it of It has to be, right? Yeah. Because every project's a little bit different too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Kelly, I have another slide for you where you talked about the solution for routing some of the talent audio from Traverse City to Cadillac. Can you tell us what we're looking at on this slide here? So here we have uh, two uh, Sony uh, PTZ cameras um, that are actually bringing in the audio from the Sennheiser wireless system. And that's being sent over or embedded, if you will, in the NDI stream and then de-embedded back on the other side in Cadillac. So they can keep their audio between the two places or two locations um, moving because of the Dante uh, challenges that we ran into. Uh, uh, we ended up going into our NDI stream with our audio. 
That's great. And we actually had the team from uh, NDI join us on our kickoff show. And Roberto was showing off all the great new features in NDI 6.3. And one of the biggest goals that they're focusing on in this upcoming year is audio over NDI. So even when we look at the different workflows and the design tools and everything that Keycode Media did to get WWTV up and running, uh, those solutions are going to be even easier going forward as NDI starts incorporating and prioritizing the audio just as they've done with video over all these years. So We're excited about it. Kelly, when you set out to do a project like this, are there specific NDI capabilities that you look at and things you identify as a must-have to get your clients to a successful solution? I think once the client understands video over IP, specifically NDI, and how long it's been around. I mean, we're even getting some of our broadcast folks um, engaged that really, you know, from a baseband traditional, you know, signal flow and understanding of video over IP, um, it's it's a no brainer. We, we actually did what we did uh, at, Proof of concept, basically. We ran up to Cadillac. I shouldn't say ran up. It's four hours. But <laughs> we went up there. We went up there with a couple of our Kilaview encoders, decoders, and camera um, just to prove that we could get this signal without you know, barely any latency across the, the 50 miles. Um, they were very impressed with um, that POC that we did. That was the initial conversation. And then we started drilling into network. And letting them know that NDI has a lot of different tools, you know, that they could use in their workflow for getting picture to multiple screens um, once once it's on that NDI VLAN. And so just showing them how NDI kind of from just scratching the surface, they got really excited. They're, they have two primary engineers and Chris actually, while we were on site, downloaded NDI tools and started playing with it on his own laptop. Um, understanding, getting an understanding and a familiarity with um, some of the capabilities. So just really opening their eyes up, our, our customers to video over IPs, again, specifically to NDI um, and the protocols that um, that have come with and the playability, if you will, um, for their workflows. Uh, we have smaller um uh, little stations that we've done uh, NDI solutions for uh, that, you know, they're calling back to us and saying, we just updated our NDI tools to the latest and greatest. And we have these new features and functionality, you know, and we're just like, great, excellent. That's what we want to hear. So Kelly, I would imagine as a system integrator that the solution itself is only the first part of the success. There is a level of training and support that you are also offering to clients like WWTV to get them to use the AV over IP tools that you're specifying in these solutions, right? Exactly. I mean, identifying the right tools obviously is is paramount for success. Sure. But getting our main our manufacturers that we work with, um, getting them behind us too to be there for their support as as they grow. And like Donnie from Quick Links, you know, has been on calls with uh, Pete from up at WWTV on, you know, just getting him up to speed on and making him feel more comfortable with, you know, what's in front of him. Um, you know, the guys from Netgear, we've had them kind of training, if you will, some of their IT folks, because once we're gone, um, if they don't have a, a support plan for us, that it's on them to manage their their stuff. So um, Netgear did, um, actually that's still being scheduled, but they're they're um, scheduling a, like a 101 Netgear for them because they have six of their switches in the mix. Um, yeah. And, you know, so we really work side by side with not only the distributors, but the, the, the manufacturers to make sure that when we leave, they're not high and dry if they have, you know, any kind of concern or anything like that. And, of course, we do a knowledge transfer on all things that we touch um, with SOPs um, so they understand, you know, because there's a lot to learn. And, you know, when we're gone, they need some kind of documentation to look back at and say, oh, that's 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 what we got to do. OK. And they can always call us. You know, but... Absolutely. And that's one of the big advantages when you work with a nationwide integrated like Heat Media, uh, being able to pick up the phone and not only having access 
to the Keytoad Media team, but to all of the partners that Keytoad Media has built relationships with over the years through installing these projects and getting them working to a successful point. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us today. For those of, of you tuning in, if you have any questions for T-Tard Media, you can reach out to them on their website at ttardmedia.com or give them a call at 818-303-3900. Uh, T-Tard Media is headquartered in, out in California. Kelly is out of the Detroit and Chicago office, and they have offices available all over the country. So reach out, give them a call, talk to them about your next AV over IP project. Thank you again, Kelly. Thank you, guys.